Welcome to our interview series, We Choose to Thrive, brought to you by Becky Norwood of The Woman I Love. We bring you stories of survivors who have chosen to heal, to thrive. If you are an abuse survivor and are starting or continuing your healing journey, these stories will provide hope, inspiration, and a knowingness that you are not alone. Join us in today's interview. Christina Wenzel, we are so excited that you've decided to join us on our We Choose to Thrive project. It's so awesome, and I've been watching the changes you've been making since you've been part of our The Woman I Love um, Facebook group. So tell us, would you mind to share with, with those our listeners a little bit about your story of the past, and then we'll go into talking about what you're doing now to be well and to heal. I guess to sum it all up, I have been a, a victim where I was sexually abused as a child. Um, started that I remember at the age of 11, a lot of my memories are, um, I can't remember a lot of things, even past friends or anything like that. So um, the first one that I actually recall is like age 11 years old so and it happened probably for four to five years um, and then after um, it stopped my mom actually um, walked in on the abuse happening and um, it stopped from that point but then after that I was mentally abused um, emotionally and mentally um, to try to cover up the actual sexual abuse. It's very typical for, especially the blanking out of the memory. Those things are, it's very typical for us not to remember and that's our protection. You know, that's, that's something that we do to protect ourselves. Um, so where are you now in your healing process, Christina? I would say a lot of times um, I'm at like the top of my game, I, I, I'm doing really good, and then all of a sudden um, something will crash me down, and um, I'll have like a flashback, or a smell will bring me back to being a little girl again, and um, being victimized and everything. I'm a mother um, of two daughters that are grown up and everything now, and um, I take pride in that. Um, I am a wife as well, and we work through a lot of things as far as sexual um, issues are a really hard thing for us um, and has been for years, but I think in the last year or so, um, it has been a lot better. You know, writing, writing things down and trying to get some things out and even talking to you and talking on our um, group um, chat the chat room or the Facebook and everything with other people it really helps um and need to get some of that stuff out so I'm not so as a wife and a mother and there's been a lot of wonderful changes that has taken place this year what do you is it been a decision has it been I know you've written your book and we're working on getting that book published is it because you wrote your book you know, I just started um, picking back up my book and writing again, and um, I think it does, it helps a lot to go ahead and, um, and get the feelings out versus going ahead and keep, keeping them inside and, and you know, dwelling up, building up inside. So it does help me to go ahead and release some of that. Also, um, I've been able to talk to my, my daughter is now, my oldest is 27. It's been, um, you have came back into the picture and started to tell, tell me, you know, what you dealt with. It brought me to start doing my book again, and I started talking to my daughter about some of the issues. And with her being older now, it's easier to be able to express some of the things of why I did things when she was growing up. And, um why I acted the way I did around my mom and dad um, when she was around and couldn't express those things to her when she was small. Um, now I'm able to express those to her. She's able to more understand me, and I'm being able to get out feelings that way. Um, but helping others 
being able to get things out, I think, is um, what is the best healing for me. So, Wait, Did you tap into any kind of resources, like maybe books you've read or courses that you've looked at that, have, that has helped you? As far as books and things, I mean, I've read a lot of books. I, I am an avid reader. I, I love to read. Um, I can't actually pinpoint exactly specifically one that I would say knows the um, most. There is a um, one that actually has like a workbook to it. It's like about about child abuse. I'm not exactly sure what that one is called, but um, I like ones that you actually have to answer questions and you have to work through it and you have to draw diagrams and you know something that. A, and get you going and interactive with the, the book as well as just, you know, not read, just reading it. Right. It doesn't help me, Very good. you know, totally. Yeah, um, that generally works with me too. Yeah. yeah. So if, if somebody else was just starting down this road of healing and just realizing that, my goodness, I am simply not happy. I don't want to be in this place anymore. I want to make the changes. What would you say to them? To talk to someone, um, find somebody um, that has went through it. Um, that was the one thing with me um, when it happened to me is um, I would – when I actually reported it, um, I was sent to some kind of court-ordered counseling, and we went through it for six months, but they wanted me to take um, uppers and downers and things like that, And um, but the counselors knew nothing of what you were going through. They, they didn't have any advice on how to um, do anything with your emotions except, you know, take pills, you know, and um, there really wasn't any that was that you could actually talk to besides the other girls you know in your group and they were going through the same stage as you were you want to talk to somebody that has went through it that has succeeded that is you know um, doing good now and not wanting to kill themselves not wanting to go ahead and take drugs not wanting to you know do this and do that I wanted to see somebody that survived and um, I think that that's the one thing is know that you're not alone. You're not the only person that is dealing with it. There is people that have survived and have thrived from it, like you you say a lot, a lot of times. Is not you just didn't just survive and are just mumbling through you know life. You're you've survived and you're thriving. You're actually doing something you know with your life. You know, uh, the writing of my book, I kept my, my secret for a very, very long time. I didn't publish my book till I was 60. The writing of my book was kind of like you just write a new story for yourself. When you write it and get it out and over with, it's like you create a new story for yourself and a new new life. And the joy that you feel within, you know, there's if you can't say that there's never going to be trigger points that kind of knock you down a little bit. But for the most part, my life is totally different. And, yeah. and then being able to know that you can have an impact on other lives by leading by example, you know, showing that that we don't have to just be victims. We don't have to be just survivors. We can thrive. We can be happy. And that's what this is. This whole book project is about. It's and what our whole message is. We can't change what happened to you, right? But we can change the effects. And another thing is, we need to recognize what we did go through, and that does help by like going ahead and reading your story back to yourself. It's like, wow, you know, I can't believe that's me that went through that and I'm still here and what beautiful qualities have you do you have today as a result of the fact that you are still here it took it took courage it took determination oh yeah definitely there's yeah. a lot of beautiful qualities that we don't honor ourselves for yeah <laughs> and my daughter my daughter is very um since you you know, we became closer because uh, of me being able to talk to her now. We uh, we talk about a lot of subjects, but this is one that we do talk a lot about because she did have a relationship with her grandfather. 
they didn't find out until years down the road, of course, because of their age and everything of what happened, you know, they, they didn't know about how it impacted me until after his death and everything. So um, I just didn't share, you know, with people. Um, I was always worried about sharing because I worry that people are going to use it to the fact that negatively, you know, against me. So it, it's hard, you know, to step out of that box and, you know, say, you know, I'm a survivor and that I do want to help other people. And Well, and you will. And it's, well, as you gain your confidence and as you, you stand on your story and not in your story, you're going to find a lot of wonderful things happening. So I want to honor you and thank you for taking this time to, for this interview and know that you're in the right place at the right time and that we are locking arms and the very fact that you're willing to participate in this interview process for this book is one of those, one more step that you're taking to, Definitely. to, to take care of you. And that's beautiful because if we can't love ourselves and can't take care of ourselves, we have nothing to give back. And we're in this world for a reason, and now it's time to find those reasons and live happily and fully. Definitely. I believe that totally. Yeah. This story was brought to you by The Woman I Love at www.thewomanilove.com. If you are starting down the path to healing, no matter what stage, our united message is that you are not alone. We do not want to live with a victim mentality. We choose to thrive, and as such, we are joining hands to spread the message that you too can heal and thrive. Will you join us as a force of change we need in our world? Only by healing, growing strong, and uniting. Can we create the awareness of this terrible epidemic that is plaguing our world? We heal in many different ways. There is no one right way to heal. But the right thing to do is to heal. Heal for yourself, for your families, and for our world. Will you join us in this We Choose to Thrive revolution? Reach out to us at www.thewomanilove.com. Also, check out the incredible resources at www.rainn.org. And if you are actively facing abuse in this moment, do not delay. Seek out help in your local community immediately. Here is to your wellness, healing, and thriving.